I'm Gabby Schaefer, I'm 32 and I'm a speech pathologist. A speech pathologist is a person who works with people who have difficulty with communication. I work in community health and my job is as a generalist with paediatrics, so we predominantly see children who are otherwise normally developing but are perhaps having trouble with their speech and language skills. The thing people mostly think of is us sitting in a room with a child saying, can you, do, you know, make your certain sounds? But we also teach the kids how to move their mouth. For children with expressive language problems, so they might not have developed their vocabulary particularly well, or they can't put the sentences together in quite the right order. The title of my job is a speech pathologist, but sometimes we get called speech therapists. I guess it's to help you realise, as a pathologist, we don't just treat children, we actually assess and diagnose them as well. There's different types of lisps. You get the lisp where you stick your tongue out, um, so it sounds like an F. You get the lisp that sounds a little bit slushy, so it's like an F. And our aim when we're teaching children is to, is to show them where they need to put their tongue and to try and hear and feel which one's right and which one's wrong. A lot of people think speech therapy is about lisps and stutters, but that's actually a really small part of our job. And really, the main areas that we're really interested in are children who are having language problems. We get lots of two and three year olds who are coming to us who are not yet talking. And really, we're trying to get those kids to start using their language, because if their language skills are not developing, it has effects on their social skills, on their behaviour development, and also in terms of learning and school readiness as well. So a lot of children who have reading and literacy difficulties at school often have a history of a language delay and so we really want to try and see those children early and help them remediate those problems. We're part of Royal North Shore Hospital, we're the paediatric unit for speech pathology so children who need speech therapy in our area might be referred to paediatricians or to the occupational therapists at the hospital. I have a bit to do with the hospital in that I need to go up fairly often for meetings and we meet with the other allied health professionals to discuss cases. Yes, I'm probably the only person who gets to draw, paint, read books and play games. I think the hardest thing is it looks like you're playing the whole time but in your mind you're constantly trying to think about the child's responses and work out what am I going to do, how do I need to make this harder or easier. Although it looks like play and it feels like play, there's a lot of thinking going on during each session and you can come out at the end of this session exhausted. Just keeping a child on task for long enough can tire you out. I actually didn't even know what a speech pathologist was. Um, when I was in year 10 and we all had to do work experience, um, my, one of my mum's friends was a speech therapist and I thought, oh, that could be interesting. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to work with people. I studied a Bachelor of Applied Science in speech pathology. The course was intense, but I loved it. You do a lot of practical experience at the clinic. You do lots of different placements and so you really get a feel while you're studying what the job's actually going to be like and um, I've never looked back. It was definitely a good choice. There's lots of job opportunities in England. It does have the opportunity for a fair bit of part-time work. You can also work privately and open your own practice. There certainly are a lot of jobs in the country areas and possibly for more jobs in like Northern Territory or Tasmania, they're always looking for people to work. If you're bilingual, this would be a great job for you. We need therapists who speak two languages. I only speak English, so we have to use interpreters whenever we have children who speak another language because you can't test a child in a language they don't speak. It certainly has its rewards. Um, you know that you're making a big difference in a child's life. I think the best bit about it is the people contact and I love working as part of a team and I really enjoy working with the kids and just seeing when the kids get it. And you can be working on something for a little while and then you just see the kids face when they actually know what they've got to do and that's, that's a lot of fun. 